Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and today I got a request from somebody on YouTube who said, Hey, could you critique my friend Mulu Loop? That's very hard to say, I'm sorry. Interesting name, though. <laughs> and I was like, sure, I can do that, I have time. And I'm sorry if this video comes, off, comes out later. It's because I'm in school. Like I said in, like, three other videos, I'm in school right at the moment, so it makes it a little bit tough to do a lot a lot of things that easily so so far i i kind of like the outlook they they have um i can't really say much because it, they show some really neat pictures especially that one cute so let's take a look um like i said this one i find it adorable they i like how they can do both um, digital and traditional art, which is actually pretty neat. Like, I have a hard time trying to do both, since one style is more different than the other. So we're going to look at what they said is not a base, and that people shouldn't use. I'm guessing they took somebody, like, they redrew, I think, somebody else's base, and made it look a little bit better as a base. Um, and obviously, it's... It's obviously that you can tell the troll, because why? Why would you do that? So I do like that they cleaned it up a bit, and it looks pretty neat. And they did say this is not a base. They are just, they're probably just, like, showing how you can make it look a little bit better. And then they use the art that they originally used for this little character, who looks so cute and adorable. And I love the little color schemes, like the little maroon and the light reddish pink hair and the blue they get a little it works well together i mean that's just me they could have probably just randomly chose it or something i don't know i don't have control over people but then the colors kind of switch from the maroon to this color a lot here now i'm not sure if that's intentional or whatnot but really i don't have any kind of control over how people do stuff and the other thing i like to mention is i think they use watercolor which I give them props because watercolor, I think in general, is very hard to master. Because it's like, you don't, you have to make sure it doesn't go over lines and you don't want it to have white spaces, which is not very professional looking. But that's as much as I know. <laughs> I don't do watercolor. Um, so far they have very, they understand human anatomy, especially cartoon anatomy, because that's more... You exaggerate certain spaces. And I do like this the little spring trap and all that. And it's kind of obvious that maybe they uh, had a reference for one of the pictures for spring trap, which I don't mind because it's pretty hard to do animatronics very easily. And I like the little chica. I think it's weathered chica. And then they did one for one of the ending cards, I think which I have to say is still really amazing that they could do that. Like you can see some of the lines that they had to do and then they colored in the rest, which makes it look 100% really cool. Then you got some Steven Universe stuff, which I'm not gonna say anything is wrong with that because I'm not a big Steven Universe person. And then you got some other, some other cute little things. What WD Gaster, you got Bonnie, Opal, Lapis, their own little, I think it's their own Lapis, which I don't mind. And then, yeah, like I said, there's not much I can really say because it's really well done. Like, I can tell that they had to improve, and they constantly stick with the little big eyes, small nose, small mouth kind of style, which I don't have anything, I have no problem with that it's really unique that they can do that they can mimic the same style from traditional to tr digital because i know that takes a lot of it takes some time to master because even i still have trouble with it uh i understand the busy thing but yeah there's not much i can really say like, they obviously, I understand that school kind of gets in the way of things. 
what I try to do is try to make art when I have spare time. Because then it works out better. Sorry, I'm trying to... Okay. I was checking on something. But... At least they're trying to post as often. <laughs> but, yeah. I do think they kind of do deserve more, like, watchers, not just six. Because their art is amazing. Like, the way they pull it off. Like, it's so well done. Like I said, try to stick with original colors. Like, I know sometimes that's really hard to do. Because maybe you don't want to, like, have to download or keep some of the art. But, yeah. Besides that, there's not much I can say on Lulu Loop. Like I said, that's going to be hard to say at times. But just the secure. Watch. But, yeah, like I said, this is just my critique, just my thing. I don't really have anything mean to say. Because I don't want to come off as that. I might make another video about me talking about that. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, besides all of that, um, I will link Mulu Loop down below so that you guys can go watch her. Because I do think her art does deserve more people. Because, I mean, look at it. It's so cute. It's adorable. But like I said, that's just me. I like cute things. <laughs> and dark things. I don't know why. But without further ado, I will end the video here. If you guys like it, please give a... If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to be critiqued in the next video, um, I'll see what I can do. And besides all that, I'll see you guys.